Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we've got the next episode of Pack and Play. Now I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this video on Thursday or if you are seeing this video potentially on Sunday. You're either seeing it one of the two days though, which if you guys are seeing this on Thursday that means you get a double upload of Pack and Play this week. If not, it means we actually got some really good and really exciting later round rookies. But if you've seen it Thursday, it's probably kind of bad, or at least nothing too special. But as I told you guys, I do want to start doing double uploads of Pack and Play every single week, starting about now. If I miss a week or two here and there, whatever, then, you know, stuff happens. Sometimes I might get too busy, don't have time to do a Pack and Play. Of course, these are like one of my longest videos, takes me to record, edit, all that stuff. So I'm going to try my best, but you always know you're going to see at least one video on Sunday. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Evan Seagrin for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. And of course, guys, go down in the comment section right now and leave me some challenges to do in the next episode. Leave a bunch of challenges because, as I've been telling you guys, I'm probably going to go through and pre record a bunch of pack and plays over the course of, you know, maybe a, a week or so. I am closing on my next house pretty soon here, as long as everything closes out pretty smoothly, which it looks like it is going to. So, definitely going to need to bulk record a bunch of videos and. I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind seeing a bunch of pack of plays. Now, as for the two challenges for today, they're both pretty interesting challenges. And one is uh, a challenge that I will say this may be the only time that I allow this type of one. But if we get a 100% completion percentage with Josh Allen, so I literally cannot miss a throw, we get to upgrade him to a 97. Now, the only reason I'm allowing this is because we are still rocking team of the week, Josh Allen. And it is now May right? We need a new quarterback. The second challenge, though, is I have to try to get 25 passing yards of my kicker, and if we do that, we get an ultimate legend fantasy pack. So, two kind of special challenges, right? I don't really prefer to do that, but obviously still, it, it's May. We need the help. So with that being said, guys, those are the challenges. This is the offense. This is the defense. We actually, I just remembered here, we got Jamal Adams, and we got John Rand in the last episode, and we also got a Dory Jackson. So, three upgrades in the last episode. Hopefully, they can help us we uh, had some trouble stopping the run. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Let's get into it. Looking to take your game at Madden 21 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes for Madden pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. Now, by the way, hopefully I don't forget to do this when we actually get to this game here, but this account, I literally only play on this account here to do pack and play. So the series trophies that we have, we can use those and I think we have like 80 series trophies. So when we get out of this, I'm probably gonna hopefully remember to use those series trophies and do like quick sells or something. Oh, 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 no way, Marvin Harrison. So I'm gonna start off this game, guys, with Morgan Anderson at QB. Now, uh, this is that, yeah, th this is not gonna work. Now, of course, the passes that we throw with Morgan Anderson does not count for Josh Allen. It needs to be 100% pass completion with Josh Allen. So if we miss a couple passes here, it's perfectly okay. Please, what is that throw? Yeah, this is going terribly. We literally cannot make a throw there. I did not pass lead that ball at all. Morgan Anderson just threw a terrible, terrible pass. Can we make that? Oh my God, look at the ball just hanging in the air. All right, fourth and 10, Josh Allen is in the game. I just, I, I wanna try to get this first down here and unfortunately it looks like nothing's gonna be open. I can't even throw it away because then it would be incomplete. We caught it. No first down. All right, so first drive, really bad. We didn't throw an incompletion, though, with Josh Allen, so that's good. However, we also literally didn't get any passing yards, so not good. We literally can't even throw, like, a drag route or anything. That is just how bad it is to have Morton Anderson at QB, so I don't know how we're going to get 25 yards, but hopefully we can get it done somehow. Please go play up on that, man. Unfortunately, the zone did not drop back in time, as I kind of expected to run there, not going to lie. Looking out for the corner, though, and yeah, that one is, that one's on me, honestly. That one's definitely on me, because I was supposed to be there. I had the QB contained set up and everything, so we couldn't scramble out of there, and that was just on me. We're going to try a screen pass, though, and we break a tackle. Thank you, Kareem Hunt. This is going to help us a ton. All right, so we have 15 yards. I'm going back to the same thing. 
anything. I mean, we literally can't throw the ball down the field, so we have to try another screen pass here. Kareem Hunt once again. Thank you for blocking Derwin James. And that's the 25 yards. All right, so we got our 25 passing yards. Thank you very much. Morin Anderson now go back to the bench. Josh Allen is now in the game. So we're at the 49. And again, you know, we, we can't miss a single pass here. So we got to be careful what we throw as we fumble the ball and we somehow pick it up. Well, things are just not going that great right now. Second and 14. We are going to have the flats open, though. Kareem, I think he has... What, what does he have on defense? Is he a deflator? So I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought he had deflator because we got hit, and then we were a little bit tired, and I just threw a terrible pass. I just threw a terrible pass right there. I thought Justin Reed was just going to sit there. So when I threw the ball, Justin Reed carried the route and completion, and now we don't get to upgrade Josh Allen Man, that is so disappointing, but I'm going to try it over the top, down the field, a Dory Jackson TD. All right, so I threw a bad pass that probably should have been intercepted, so unfortunately, we do not get to upgrade Josh Allen, but nothing's really open. He's chugging a deep. Lattimore is there, and we just dropped the pick. Man, you have got to be kidding me here, as I'm going to look out for anything over here to the corner. He's going to be looking to come back across the middle. That's not going to be open, though. We get the sack. So we did get a sack, and now third and 21 coming up. Nothing's going to be open. He's chugging it to the corner, and that's going to be incomplete. All right, fourth and 21. Can we please get some pressure? We get another sack that is a pack here, as I'm going to look out for that corner route. We had defenders there, and it's incomplete. That's a pack. I love how I literally set my defender to be there, and Lattimore still just was not there to make that play if he had to. Kareem Hunt, though, with a run here. But we are up to two total packs. Now, I am going to run a little 0-1 trap here, and hopefully we can get some decent blocks. Yeah, we, we really didn't there. So, obviously, on third and seven, we do not want to take our three points here. I guess I will on fourth down if I have to, but it won't give us a pack. So, we definitely do not want that. Be open back of the end zone. No. Dantzler just came out of nowhere to make that play. Go back and take a look at when I did throw that ball. And Dantzler just made a great cut on that. I thought for sure it was going to be open. It's going to be a pick six. All right. And just like that, now we are down 14 to 7. And he got the ball because I fumbled on the kickoff. All right. I'm going to come back across the middle there. And oh, oh, really? Can't really be mad about the interception because did I force it a little bit? Maybe I did force it in there. I really did think it was going to be open, though, to be honest with you guys, as there's a sack. That's our second pack. Actually, that is our third pack, but that is our second sack there, so we get a pack for that one. So that's our third pack. We need a stop here. I'm going to look out for anything. Is he? Oh, tight end delay. Yep, it's the delay release, right? Is he going to try the delay release? Actually, no, underneath. Not a first down. All right, fourth and two. I'm going to shade underneath here. Please stop that. That's not going to be open. I knew he was going to go there, man. I just knew he was going to go there as I'm going to look out over the middle here. And he is passing the ball right to me. Devin Bush with the INT. And it's probably not going to be a pick six because this is a super low overall linebacker. Thank you. So we are now up to four total packs. Now it is second and 26 because I got an intentional grounding on first uh, down. So that's beautiful. But right bumper is going to be wide open. Adoree Jackson. Big play. Adoree Jackson is out here making plays. You love to see it. Second and 10 coming up though. And I'm going to be looking underneath. We have B wide open. Marvin Harris. Come on, Evan Ingram. You got to get that block, man. If Evan Ingram gets that block there, that might be a TD. We are at the 26, though, and it looks like nothing's going to be open. We get some decent blocks. I can take off right here. Josh Allen, slide down. All right, might be looking to go to Dory here, and it looks like he is probably going to be able to catch that. Thank you, Dory Jackson. All right, so this is kind of where we're struggling here is really down on the goal line, but I think I should be able to run on this front here. Should be an easy TD. That's another pack. All right, so we are up to five packs now, and the game is all tied up, but he has one timeout in 47 seconds. Really just got to watch out for, like, anything to the sideline. I'll let him get that over the middle if he wants to try to throw that, but it's not going to be open. I thought I was going to have a user pick. I thought for sure I was about to have a user pick right there, and sadly, no. He got a, he got a nice animation there. I'm going to look out for this little corner that's not open. You, you can have that underneath all day. With only 30 seconds left. Yeah, I will definitely give him a three-yard gain right there as we get another sack there. There we go. All right, so with nine seconds left, we're at the 34-yard line. I have to try to go deep on him here, so we're probably just going to chuck up a deep ball to a Dory and see if we can get the catch, and he spotted it. So with only one play left here, and we have got three seconds, I'm just going to chuck up a deep ball to Marvin Harrison 
and see if we can come down with this for a touchdown. If not, it's either going to be intercepted or incomplete. And Marvin... Yeah, that is most certainly not going to be a TD right there. Being tied 14 to 14 and a half. Honestly, I feel pretty good about this because my defense kind of stepped it up. We did pretty good on offense at the end of the first half. So I'm feeling pretty decent about this year as I'm going to look out across the middle. And I uh, got the corner out open again. All right, so once again, have my quarterback and taints it up and also have a little spy. He's trying to get some playmaker stuff going as that's going to be intercepted. Darnell Savage. Thank you, Darnell Savage, for the interception. Now up to six packs here. We're gonna try a little run over here to the left side and we get, didn't get blocks at all. So some very, very nice blocking there for my team. Uh, second and 12 coming up though. I'm gonna block Dalvin Cook and we might get Evan Ingram. Ingram, you're gonna be open. Evan Ingram to the sidelines. Please make that catch. Thank you, Evan Ingram and still going. So I haven't ran a screen pass out of this in a very, very long time. So I don't think he's gonna be expecting a screen, but we are gonna go back to it here. Did work with the kicker and now we've actually got a legit quarterback. Thank you. All right, fourth and five. We might be looking to go to Kareem Hunt here and Hunt, please catch that. Did he get the first? No, I thought for sure we were going to have that first down there. That is so sad, man. As I'm looking out underneath, I know he's trying to go to that. He's just going to keep trying to playmaker on me. Nothing's open. Nothing's open. Please get some pressure. Yes, pick that AJ Terrell. Thank you. I don't know why he tried to throw that down the field, but great interception. Hit a little juke. Terrell, we've got the sidelines open. Big time return. We're now up to seven packs. Big time return there as well. And Kareem Hunt. Not much in the run game. We've got to try to get a touchdown, though. We absolutely need a TD here on this drive as we have X wide. I think actually B might have been open. Good stiff arm. I'm running the same exact play because I think I saw Justin Jefferson get wide open here. And it looks like he just completely screamed through. So I know this doesn't give us any packs, but it's 4th and 11. And I want to try to get some points up on the board. We need to try to win games so we can make the playoffs. So... We're taking our three. So this guy has really not been able to get much going here in the second half at all on offense. So we've just got to stop him again as that's not going to be open over the middle. I mean, he can take the flats, I guess that's open, but we're there. I don't want to keep having to use a QB contain because then we get like no pressure on him, but I am going to run the contain here. Second and six. And oh, he thought about scrambling there. That's not going to be open though. I have my zone drop set and Latimer almost got the pick. All right, so I'm going to try something out a little bit different here, but I'm going to look out over the middle still. We got to try to cover everything. Down the field, AJ Terrell again with another interception. Why does he keep trying that? AJ Terrell, Thank you very much, man. Now we are ahead. We just really need to get like another first down here as we're going to have right bumper open. Thank you, Adoree Jackson. Big time first down, man. All right, ball carrier is on conservative. Of course, we are going to try to chew clock here. We got to try to come out of this with a victory and we just, we, we cannot run the ball at all. We have eight rushes for one yard right now. We just absolutely cannot get the run game going versus this guy. Which does suck because right now we just we just need to run the ball here. Kareem Hunt to the outside. No. This is pretty risky, but I am going to pass the ball here on third and 12. I want to try to end the game right here. And I'm not going to do anything too ridiculous. We do have Kareem Hunt. What? I don't know how Josh Allen misses that throw. That literally ends the game right there. I, li I, I don't have a single clue how Josh Allen just missed that throw, but... I had to really think about it here, and of course, we, we need to punt this ball. All right, we have 36 seconds left. Cannot get beat down the field. I'm just going to look out for anything over here. Just stop him from getting out of bounds, and we're good. Just do not allow him to beat me down the field to get into field goal range. He has one timeout left. I'm running my QB contain. I'm looking out deep down the field, and he might get that. No, Xavier Howard. No, Xavier Howard almost just had the game-winning play right there. But he does have 19 seconds left. I'm not running QB contain because I want to see if we can get some pressure. We get the hit in Lattimore. Oh my God. How is that not a pick? In what universe is that not an interception right there? That is so insane, man. 14 seconds left here. Once again, no quarterback contain. Hopefully we can get some pressure on him. Looking out across the middle and he's going to take off here. He got out of bounds. So it is fourth and inches, but what I'm going to do, guys, is actually put up two flats and as well a quarterback uh, spy. So hopefully we can just keep him with the ball in his hands and not give him anything open. That's not going to be open. And Darnell Savage gets the game winning interception. So we had nine packs, but it looks like he's about to quit the game, guys. So if he does, that is a quit 
and a win so that is 11 total packs and he did we have 11 total packs to get into and an ultimate legend fantasy pack for getting the kicker passing yards however we did not get the josh allen upgrade very sad there but we are 1-0 and on this season and i remembered we're gonna use our trophies so a very very close game there i don't think it should have been that close but it is what it is we do have 80 series trophies here so let's get into i guess three wheel of coin packs and then whatever we get we'll use we get 3,000 coins right there okay give me something big what do we get 50k okay give, give me 50k we got 3k there we get a 1k very nice so we have 4,000 coins right now to use and final one give me more than 1k please give me more than 1k EA. 50k 2k all right so we got 6,000 coins so we are going to do two get a player packs i know nothing nothing fancy nothing fancy at all it's a gold doesn't matter what it is and then we'll do one more get a player and one get a gold that is our six thousand coins right there megan elite 80 overall okay i'll take the training points and one get a gold then we get to do a ul fantasy pack and 11 packs our get a gold though is an 88 all right so we have 11 packs we also have got a ul fantasy pack to get into so i guess we'll do the ul fantasy pack first and then we'll get into the 11 total packs that we have as in round one we get an 82 and 84 and a ul 87 overall steve hutchinson all right i'll take all of these higher overall leaps round two 92 travis fulgham can we actually use that i don't know what his speed is i don't i don't actually know if he's gonna make the team or not but round three come on 91 Corey Dillon rings yes come on something big 95 Harry Carson I think we have Khalil Mack and Hendricks I want to say on the other side so I don't think he's gonna make the team that's a lot of training points though Travis Fulgham has only 90 speed so now we've got 11 total packs to get into so I can choose between the game changers and the elites I'm gonna do one game changer if it's good we can go ahead and do another one if not i'll do an elite player pack course we get two special packs one for every five packs here please give me a full 50 full 50 please oh 85 gronk 90 cornerback edelman that was okay the elites though guarantee us an 86 plus so we'll do the elite pack and then we have 11 get to go player packs to get into we get a ul 88 brooks all right that's just training points there 80 overall oh jair please Adam Thielen, we're not going to use him, but decent training. And now we've got 11 get a gold player packs to get into. So we've got a decent amount of training points here. I've been really enjoying what we're doing the last couple episodes where we just do like the team of the year fantasy pack because there's just so many cards in there to choose from that can upgrade the team. If we have enough training points here to uh, do one of those, we may do another one because those team of the year players, they help us out a lot. So let's do these get a gold player packs here. Team of the week. Yeah, 78 overall Stefan Diggs. For, uh, for some reason, I thought we were going to get lucky and it was going to be, you know, a big team of the week. 85 overall Malcolm Butler right there. Also, I got to check real quick uh, the players in the team because I don't remember who's actually powered up and who's not to see if we can get like another upgrade on them because we had a really good game with like AJ Terrell. And off the top of my head, I'm trying to think, does, does Terrell have a power up? I don't remember if he does or not. 87 overall Mitchell Schwartz. And if he does, then we definitely would have him powered up. I don't, I don't think he does. For some reason, though, my mind is telling me that he does, but since he's a rookie, I want to say that he he doesn't. We'll check in a second. 82 overall, Jerry Rice right there. We also get a power-up, Taylor Mays. All right, so I like the power-up Taylor Mays there because that could potentially be our new user, perhaps. I would like that a lot. Of course, just got the, uh, the power-up expansion card, but the issue is with that is unfortunately right now we would have to be able to unlock his uh the 50 card so on the offense side of things guys we actually only have one power up and that's marvin harrison who's already maxed out and defensively oh yeah terrell does have a power up okay so my mind was correct there but i don't believe that yeah he doesn't have another upgrade right now but he had two picks in that game that was wild all right so we're gonna quick sell everything we just pulled except for taylor mays because I think we can potentially use that card. We get 64,000 training points right there. Holy. Now, with Taylor Mays, as I said, we do have to actually do something to get this card right here. So we would have to get like a user pick with him in the game or something like that. But if we get that out of the way, we could literally use training points all the way up to here and get him to a 98 overall. And he would be like an incredible user card. So 
Ah, uh, this is this is really tough because right now we actually do have Darnell Savage at free safety that I like to use her, but I could always move Savage over and he could actually take over for the Marcus Joyner, who is a little bit on the slower side, you know, only 93 speed. So I, I, I think that's probably the move. I think we should probably go ahead and upgrade Taylor Mays with training points and we can quick sell Joyner and we'll just move Savage over to strong or to free safety and he'll just be roaming back there with some good speed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and upgrade Taylor Mays all the way up that we can with training points. Now, if I even get one user pick, it's only a 91 overall card. If we just get one interception with Mays, I think that's worth it to go ahead and get that. So let's go ahead and add some chemistries onto him. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and add lockdown times two and as well, sprinter. And as I said, LaMarcus Joyner, he is now going to be leaving and we're just going to go ahead and and uh, throw Savage at free safety so we can just be a free safety and he'll just be back there playing a deep blue. We get a lot of training. We have 83,000 training points now. All right, so now we have Savage at free safety and our new user card is Taylor Mays to pair with Jamal Adams. By the way, I did just throw universal coverage on AJ Terrell because I actually had universal on Joiner. So now we have Lattimore, AJ Terrell, and Derwin as our X Factors. But as I said, guys, we have got 82,000 training points. So I definitely want to take advantage of this and get another team of the year player the question is though who all right so biggest l of pack and play so far but uh i stopped the recording just to go take a look back at everything and make sure all the footage was good before we i kept going here and went into the packs of the team or whatever i forgot to hit record again so we got our team of the year player and unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I actually picked the player, but I decided we were going to go with an offensive lineman to help the team out. And we did actually choose Quentin Nelson at left guard. So now we have a new left guard. Sorry, I wasn't recording. That is obviously a big time upgrade there because we actually had 91 overall Nate Davis, who was a right guard playing at left guard for us. So we get to quick sell him 7,000 training points. We've actually almost got enough to do another team of the year fantasy pack, but unfortunately we do not have enough training we could however kind of risk it here and we could do like a rising star pack or something and if we get enough we just get a good pull we can do another team of the year so why not risk it let's see what we get please no 89 overall sean murphy so we're probably not gonna be able to do a team of the year fantasy pack there so let's just go ahead and do a couple more rising star packs whatever we get a 90 overall TJ. I kind of want to save some training points here though, guys, because with Taylor Mays, if we do get a user pick, we need training points to get him up even farther. So we're going to save some of the training here though. We'll do like two more packs, I guess. Two more rising stars. There's a lot of good rising star players that I think can make the team here. So if we get like a 95 overall or something like that, that would definitely help us. Final rising star pack, and that's going to be it for the video. Definitely a good video though for the upgrades. We did get Taylor Mays, so we have a new user card we can work on, and also a much, much needed upgrade to left guard. And it was honestly a pretty good gameplay. So, with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. Hopefully, Quentin Nelson at left guard will be able to help us actually run the ball because we could not get the run game going at all in that game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.